All right, guys, hello and welcome to Underwater Secrets Location. So right now, this is uh, just north of the North 2 spawn location. Should be right here in the section of sand right there. Give you guys a good idea of what this area looks like. Swim up to the surface. It is nighttime and I cannot, uh, make it daytime because this is a live server, but I'll, uh, pull out the GPS. So to pull out a GPS on an egg what you're going to do is you're going to pull it out in your hands. Definitely find your egg And then you pull out Q. So let's see. Directly above the location that the secret would be would be about 9662 or 962. This is North Mountain with the supply drop on it. That is the supply dr drop that you cannot loot. That green drop is uh, Hidden Lake. You can see the green obelisk. There is uh, the Northeast Mountain over there. And this is going to be our starting point, so I'm going to head towards the snow zone, and I'm going to go counterclockwise around the map. And this is going to show you where all of the sea crates are. So, heading towards the snow zone, there's going to be no sea crates until you get to the underwater cave. So we're just going to swim along through all these rocks. Around. And we're going to go down. Here we go. Here's the cave. So when you go down underneath the structure right here, it kind of looks like Stonehenge. I'll come back and give you guys a nice visual representation. So when you're swimming along the coast right there, you'll run into a rock that you have to go around. Now, you don't want to go over it, you just go around it. And you'll see a spot where you can go under, there'll be pearls right here. And right on top of this cave, you can tell it's a cave because it's glowing, and because it's a very awkward uh, structured rock. The sea crate should be just about right here. Oh, you also see the bubbles from the cave. So I'll swim down, show 100% beyond reasonable doubt that it is a cave. So this is the cave at the entrance of the snow zone. I'll swim up, show you the exact location, aside from GPS coordinates. Here we are. That is the waterfall directly in front of me. That is the snow mountain slightly to my right. If I were to face directly south on the GPS, this is what it would look like. North mountain, snow mountain. Here we go. Okay, so from this cave, I'll swim down to the position that I started from. We're going to head in between these rocks. This is also very close to the pearl farming route that I have. Uh, I have a pearl farming video. It doesn't exactly show the route, but this is the relative location of the start of the route it is the entrance to the snow zone. So we come down. You can see why it's a pearl farming route. The next crate will be right here. So when you're coming, over here, and you see this area with the structure that goes over, kind of like a Stonehenge, and it's nice and open, it will be right here, in this area with the pearls. So next we'll move on. So we came through right there. Now we're just going to basically keep going straight towards the next corner of the snow zone. And of course this is a very nice pearl farming route. If you were to be taking the pearl farming route, you just kind of come up over here. It's going to be a bunch more pearls. But yeah, came from basically directly that way. We're going to head through these rocks. Here's the next cave. Swim past that. You're going to come to this rock, and you're going to stay on the right side, towards the very bottom of the ocean. 
and we're going to come up on kind of a, a ravine type deal right here. And it's basically going to be right there. Right on this little piece of algae right there. So I'll swim up. This is underneath the iceberg, mind you, the best one of the best base locations in the game. In this ravine. Right here. So from here, we're going to go to the west side of the map. We're going to swim down here. And we're going to follow this coast. All the way south. And you want to stay about this height. So day or night, you'll be able to see the secret. Alright, we're coming down, coming down. Going south. See this rock structure? Okay, we're getting close. Alright, so when you see these pearls, the sea crate will be in between this coral spot and these pearls up here. So it'll be directly in the center. And it will be right here on the ground. So if you are too high up, you will not see it. If you are about this high up, you will not see it. Where I can see that pearl is about the render distance. You want to be about this high up. So usually I'll just swim pretty low. I'll swim about the height of this rock right here. It'll be right here in between. Okay, hit that spot. Good. Go into the next spot. Alright, so we're coming underneath the next Stonehenge structure. The next arc. Swim past the pearls. Swim past this. Here we go. Coming up on the next cave right here. We're just going to swim over the cave. So this spot has multiple spawn locations. One of the spawn locations is in here in the coral. It's going to be excruciatingly hard to see unless it is nighttime. So I highly suggest doing your routes at night. The next location is going to be, I believe, right here. So I'm going to swim up. Swim over a little bit. Here's the cave. Swim up from the cave. Show you guys what it looks like on the surface in case you need to go up for oxygen. There's the volcano. There's the North Mountain. There's Red Obelisk. Show you guys the area really quick. If you're farming pearls and you don't have an ichthy and stuff like that, this is one of the spots that you're going to be going to. Is just north of here. So we'll swim back down to the cave. First location. Swim over, swim over. Second location, right along these rocks outside the cave. Here's the entrance to the cave. I'm going to make this as simple as possible by explaining it more so than I otherwise would. On to the next spot where you're going to come up to the first rock, which is this one. It is rounded, so I'll throw that out there. And the next spot is right here. So just south, following the ridge, the first rock you come to from the one south of the cave is going to be literally right here. And we're on to the next one. One of the most extravagant parts about doing this is uh, leveling up your ichthy. Now, I have not put any points in stamina on this ichthy. I got a really good ichthy tame. Uh, ichthys regenerate stamina absurdly fast. Uh, you get some pretty good gear from the underwater secrets. But all movement speed. Try and get a good tame on stamina and just go 100% movement speed. Now, I've had my friend sit on this thing while he was crafting an industrial forge. I've 
had people sit on it while killing alphas. It's really hard to find alphas on the coast. Um, you're not really going to get XP on a Nickthi other than it's just being idle. So it takes a very long time. Alright, so here we go. We're coming up to the next sea crate down here. This is uh, the ridge. All the way down to the bottom of the map. There's a cave right there. There is, I believe, the red obelisk over here. I want to make sure everybody gets a good idea of this location. So here we are. Here's the cave. Now, this rock structure right here, in, in the elbow of it, will be a spawn location, I believe. It's right in here. I've looted that secret several times. So the next spot we go to, I'll try and go in more of a straight line. So here's the elbow. The next location is going to be south. We're going to come up over this rock. And there's going to be spawn locations on each side of this rock. So first we'll come over here, check. If you're looking down on the same screen that I'm looking at right now, if you can see the exact same area, you will see a sea crate if it is spawned there. So you come back up and over onto the other side. It would be on your screen right here if you were looking at roughly the same thing. So that's the corner of the map down there. We're looking up at the sand ridges mostly. There's that pearl spot. So we're going to come back up and over to check another spot. Alright, so if it was here, you would see it on the screen. We would either be somewhere around this little spot right here where the coral is. I'll come back up. Right there on the coral, somewhere around there. Back up and over again. And now, I always do a little bit of a sweep of this area, but I've only ever seen it right here, next to these pearls. So, we're going to go to the next area. There's a cave. I'll come in to show you guys it's a cave. So, definitely a cave. Alright, so the previous spot that we checked was right there on the sandbank. We're going to be going directly west. Or no, we're going to be going directly east now. I'll pull out my GPS. So that cave was just back there. Hop on the ICTI, press Q. Yet again, I'll repeat one more time. Uh, if you have the GPS out and you get on a water dyno, this also applies to spyglasses. If you press Q, it will pull out the item. So we're going to follow the bank right here on the left side. We're going to come down. We're just going to keep going straight. And we're going to come up to this sandbank right here. And as you can see, we have a underwater secret. Ascendant crossbow. Very nice. 231% over 400 durability. Definitely a keeper. 446, that is ridiculous. Not even expensive to make. This is actually a cave right here. So it's a sandbank right next to a cave. The entrance is on the opposite side. I'll show you guys the entrance really quick. Swim around. This, uh, the caves like this are excruciatingly hard to block off. Looks like uh, the Chinese came up with a new name for the tribe. Um, I'm not trying to do anything about these guys right now. It's not worth my time. Looks like they're trying to get auto turrets or something along the lines with electronics, whatever. But yeah, we're going to go over the secrets. So we're going to come back, we're going to go parallel with the ridge. Press Q, pull out GPS. So the next crate is pretty far away. 
that is going to be on the other side of a rock. So we're going to go around two large rocks. Here's the first one. And I believe on the third rock that is not pointed that goes up really high, it should be on the other side, which is right here. So the rounded rock. I usually go around the lower part near the edge of the map and cut down because I have been informed through other videos that it can spawn in that little corner. So we're coming down. Check the coral. I've never seen it over here. Uh, right here. If you stop right here in front of the cave, this is where you will more than likely find the secret if it is spawned in this location. 99% of the time, 100% of the time for me, it will be right here. So we're going to go to the next location. I always check back here on the off chance that there is a spawn location there. I have never seen it there. Okay, so to make this simple, uh, that's the cave right there. I'll swim up. Uh, we're coming up on Herbivore Island right now. This is near Stonehenge. Actual surface Stonehenge. There's Herbivore Island. Stonehenge right over there. Towards that uh, mountain at the center of my screen. Or that little black dot is. I didn't tell my friend I was making a video. I usually don't announce to people that I'm making videos. It's kind of a spontaneous thing that I just kind of go do. Alright, so here we are, south of Herbover Island. Now, 90% of the time, the secret will be here. Or here. It can also be on the backside over here. And I have also seen it right over here on the other side of this rock. So I'll swim up, show you guys where I am. That's Herbivore Island. Straight down, that's the cave. So basically, we're looking at the locations right on the cave. Right here. Right here. And you definitely want to sweep around a little bit. Just be sure it's not along the coral. And we'll move on to the next location, which is very far. So, uh, I should have touched on the subject at the beginning of the video, but there is two underwater secrets. They both have a 45 minute spawn timer. If you loot them consecutively, there is a chance that a third one will spawn. So if you loot both of them in around 30 seconds to a minute, something like that. Like say they're spawned in locations directly next to each other and you are swimming around checking and you get both of them. It's good to do the complete cycle around the map. Because there is a chance that there will be a third which means more loot. And the loot is the best in the game. There's no reason to loot anything else other than getting a long neck rifle or upgraded flak, because flak is easy to craft. Uh, I've seen people complain about the amount of metal that it takes to craft journeyman flak, etc, etc. Journeyman flak, I don't think, is worth it. If you can get really, really good apprentice flak, that is worth it. I've only seen one piece of mastercraft flak, and... It was as good as Apprentice Riot gear, and it was absurdly cheap to repair and craft compared to the Riot gear. Obviously, Riot gear is better on most circumstances, but Flak is cheaper. It is almost as good. Don't go with Riot gear if you can get Flak. Um, the best items you can get from the Underwater Secrets are obviously... The Fabricated Sniper, Saddles, and Compound Bow. Compound Bow being by far the best. Okay, so here's the next spawn location. This is the Ravine. 
in between Carnot Island and the mountain, Northeast Mountain. So I'll swim back, give you guys a really good perspective of where it is. Swim to the surface up here. Mountain, Carnot Island, in between. So follow the rock around, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. When you see this rock, kind of cut over, slow down, right here, on this patch. If you were looking at the same thing that I was looking at right here, and the crate was spawned in this location, it would be on your screen. And on to the next spot. Now, we're going to have to kick it in reverse, after checking this next location, and go to the cave, north of Karno. So right here, if you were looking at the same thing that I'm looking at, you would see the, the secret. It would be right here on this patch of sand. All right, now we're gonna kick it back. So you got the structure over you, I'll swim up to the surface so you can get an idea of where it is. Supply drop, mountain, rock structure, Kind of looks like a uh, cog wrench. And you got this overhang structure. So we're going to swim back. We're going to go to the top right of the map. The northeast corner. Almost. Where the cave is. And now there's two spots up at the north northeast corner that we're going to check. So come down, just kind of swim along the ridge. You can see the new Dunkleosaurus, always cool. And here. Okay, so we are at the cave. Right now, if you were looking at what I'm looking at, as I've stated before, you would see the end of our secret. If it was spawned in this location, it would be down here in this coral. Now to the next location, you want to swim up a little bit and look down at the cave. It can be on top of this cave, like from the starting point. So swim through here. If you swim through that location, you would see the underwater sea crate. I'll swim up a little bit. That is Carnot Island. That is the cave. It would be on top of the cave and down and to the right. Two locations. On to the next location over here. So basically, the first rock structure you come to, hugging the top of the map, right down here. This one is probably among the easiest to see. If it is spawned here, you would see it. It is not. I'm not going to go over exactly where it is, because if you look down on that spot, you'd have to be fairly blind to miss it. So I'll go back to the edge of the map. We're just swimming. Not the exact route that I would go, but I'm just gonna give you guys an idea of the area. Just the overhang. So just past this giant overhang area with this is basically I'm looking at north two spawn locations right now. All along here. We're almost at the starting location. And we're going to come over here. Now, if the underwater secret was spawned, it would be right here. I'll swim up, give you guys a good idea of the area. That is North Mountain. That is Northeast Mountain. That's Carnot Island. This is all North 2 right here. North 3. Snow Biome. And I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that somebody else was looting the underwater sea crates because I only found one. So we're going to go back to the starting position. Always double check the initial starting position. 
on the off chance that there was a third crate spawned, or a respawn of second crate, etc., etc. Uh, just along this uh, ridge right here. Fill these down into the depths. Come down. And we're back to the top of the cave. Like I said before, it would be directly on top of this cave. That is all of the underwater secret spawn locations. Thank you. And leave some comments. Give me some feedback. Show me some support. I'll make more videos. I'll make them more in-depth. I will make them more organized if people show a little bit of support, ask some questions, give some comments. The more, I don't want to necessarily say positive, but the more interactions I see on YouTube will inspire me to put more effort into these videos. There's a lot more to this game. And that is it for the video. Thanks, and have a good day.